Let's do it. This is how you watch C A Z. Hey, this is how you watch C A Z. Hey, keeping the faith in the king, and the patience will give us the strength. So it's biblical not to celebrate birthdays. We, this is what we want you to get to understand. Because you stood here, you're getting understanding, you're following the laws, you took off your hat. And just like the officer saying, don't stop there. There's more things. As we learn, these are the things we must change. All right? Give me um, Je uh, Jeremiah 233 real quick. Because what you said was, I know it's wrong, but it's for the kids. It's for my for my daughter. She don't know no better. Right, she don't know no better. But guess, guess what you got to do as the father, the head of the household, the guider, the leader. You got to teach her it's wrong. Right. You gotta, I, I'll, I'll, qu I'll quiz my daughter every time. I'll like, hey, sweetheart, do we celebrate Christmas? No, daddy, it's wicked. Hey, sweetheart, do you want something for your birthday? I know your birthday coming up. No, daddy, we don't celebrate birthdays. All right. So we gotta teach our children these things and, and build them up in these laws. I want you to get this understanding right here. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 33. Read it up. Why trimmest thou thy way? Why? This is God asking us a question as men that know what we must do to please God. God said, why trimmest thou thy ways? To trim your ways means to go away from something you know to do is right. Right? Read. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? To do what? To seek love. For my kids. To seek love. Why are you trimming God's laws and commandments just so you can seek love from somebody else? Right? Whose love do we want to seek? God, that's the most important love that we can ever receive, is from God. Read. Therefore, has thou also taught that the wicked ones thy ways. Therefore, you want to trim your ways to seek love? You teach the wicked it's okay to go against God. I'm the type of man that goes against God as long as I can please you. That's what the Bible's saying. Give me Job 1 and 6, real quick. So we're going to show you biblically, celebrating birthday is not of God. What I would tell you to do, brother, you should throw away that cake in the trash and tell your daughter, I love you, but I love God even more to keep you out of sin. You should go and find the trash can, dump it in the trash, and tell your daughter, we're not celebrating birthdays today because uh, it's against God. And I'm going to show you why. Is that what I wanted? Read. 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 It's the book of John, chapter 1, verse 4. And his sons went and feasted in their houses, every one his day. They did what? Feasted in their house. So Job's uh, children feasted in Job's house. Everyone his day. His what? His day. They feasted his day. His, what is that talking about? His or her day, what is that talking about? No, that's not talking about God's day. They, it says they celebrated his day. When the day they were born, they celebrated their oh, day. They celebrating their birthday. Their right. day, their birthday. Okay. And guess what they did? They threw a feast. Everybody was in, enjoying gladness. Job's kids were celebrating their birthdays. Read. And sent and called for their three sisters. And it was like, hey, go get the family. We celebrate today my birthday. Read. To eat and to drink with them. To do what? To eat. And to drink with them. It's a party now. And it was so when the days of their feasting were gone about that Job sent and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. So what did Job have to do? He had to sacrifice for their sins to keep his children out of sin. Because they were out of order, uh, he had to sacrifice to keep them out of sin. And when you read on down, is, is it coming up? Read. For Job said, it may be that my sons have sinned. They did what? My sons have sinned. They did what? My sons have sinned. Celebrate birthdays? Have sinned. They have sinned because they were celebrating their birthday. Out of the Bible. Job had to so uh, uh, sacrifice animals because his children were in sin because they celebrated their own day. Read. Sacrifice a lot. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 20, verse 14. Cursed be the day wherein I was born. Let not the day wherein my mother bare me be blessed. Curse the day wherein I was born. Let not the day my mother bare me be blessed. Why is that? We're not supposed to be celebrating another year we're here in captivity in Satan's kingdom. Bring it up! We're not supposed to 
us be celebrating that we're uh, another year here in slavery. God don't want us to be celebrating our birthdays. It's sin. It's sin. We will never be able to celebrate our birthday. Well, in that more that? That was it. Give me a second Mac D6. So where did this custom come from, brother? It came from ancient Egypt, and then all the heathens started to follow that custom. They celebrated their own day. Our, 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 our brothers and sisters said, curse be the day wherein I was born. Don't let no one say it's blessed. So birthdays are not of God. They're of Satan and the other nations. Bring it up! Bring we have to celebrate. This is the book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 6, verse 6. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient feasts or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. So it wasn't lawful for us to keep our identity when we were in the Greek captivity. They didn't want us to keep the Sabbath days, which all of our people break. They didn't want us to keep the feast days of this Bible, which most of our people don't know. We follow the customs and the ways of the heathens, just like today we follow birthdays. With the birthday cake, where did the birthday cake come from? It came from a Greek god named Artemis. It was a moon god. That's why originally birthday cakes come, they come out in a circle. Birthday cakes come uh, uh, from Greek idolatry celebrating a moon god named Artemis. And when you blow the candles, the wish goes and floats to the Greek god Artemis, the moon goddess. That's where it comes from. That's where birthday cakes come from. So we're following the ways of the heathen and not of God. Read. And in the day of the king's birth, of the king's birth, the who? of the king's birth. This is King Antiochus that mandated that the Jews could no longer recognize themselves as God's people and no longer keep God's high holy day. But they, he said, on my day when I'm born, read, every month they were bought by bitter constraint. It was bitter constraint for us to celebrate the king's birthday. The Jews didn't want to do that, but we either had to do it or we'd get put to death. Wait. By bitter constraint. To eat of the sacrifices. And when the feast of Bacchus was kept, the Jews were compelled to go in possession to Bacchus carrying ivy. Moreover, there went out a decree to the neighboring cities of the heathen by the suggestion of Ptolemy against the Jews. So all these mandates and decrees came from the uh, uh, Greek king for us to celebrate their customs and go to their traditions. So we got to come out of the ways of this world and not celebrate birthdays, brother. So do you understand biblically why birthdays are a sin? They're against God. So don't trim your ways just to seek love from your uh, daughter. Real love is showing her how to serve God. Real love is standing firm for God's laws and, and teaching her to serve God and fear God the way she's supposed to. You got something? Read. Read. That they should observe the same fashions and be partakers of their sacrifices. And whosoever would not conform themselves to the manner of the Gentiles shall be put to death. Then might a man have seen the present misery. So we would get put to death if we didn't celebrate their birthdays. That's why we keep those same traditions and same customs today because it was forced on us in slavery. It was forced on us by another nation. They forced us into idolatry. Now we do it willingly. We gotta teach our children how to serve God. You hold this up? Right, right, right. No, we, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll end it on that. So you understand, uh, Brother Andrew? All right, so you wanna show God you wanna repent? When you walk away, don't show up with that birthday cake. Right, don't show up with that. I don't care who get mad. I just learned God said we ain't supposed to celebrate birthdays, so we're not celebrating. Stand firm and strong for your household. Because this is what God says to do. These heathens are nothing to God. That's right. They mean nothing. We are the holy chosen people of God that have to follow his laws and commandments. They're, they are for us. Any nation outside of the uh, 12 tribes of Israel, those are the heathens. Those are the, uh, the strangers that God does not care about. That's right. So we have to come to our identity because we're the greatest people on this earth and come back to these royal holy laws that God has given us. Right. Throw that cake away and tell every... Uh, give me uh, Luke 14 and 26. And let everybody know like we got to celebrate God's day. We got to keep the laws and commandments of God. That's what we got to do. Was that it? Was that what I wanted? All right, read that. Read that. 
It's the book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother, so oh, this is Christ speaking. When we come to this truth and we come out of the ways of the world, our family ain't gonna like it. Our family is going to be mad at us because we've changed and come out of their traditions, right? But Christ said, when you come to me, if you don't hate, and he's not talking about you gotta hate them personally, you gotta hate the things they believe in and the traditions they follow, right? So if you don't hate your mama's uh, beliefs, and who else? Mother, and wife, uh -huh. and children, and what? And children, and who? And children for the kids. And children. If you don't hate the understanding your children have celebrating birthdays in the ways of this world, right? And brother, uh -huh. and sisters, yeah. And his own life also. And your own life also, meaning you have to come out of those ways and, and traditions of the world. You gotta hate the things you were taught in this world and these customs. If you don't come out of that, he cannot be my disciple. He cannot what? He cannot be my disciple. That means you're not gonna be worthy to be coming to the kingdom of heaven and going through those gates. So you gotta hate everything that you've been taught, everything that this world teaches us, and come back to the laws and commandments of this Bible. That's what you gotta come to. Deuteronomy 6 to 7. That's my Go ahead, read that. So we gotta come and teach our people the right way. Read. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 7. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. So these are the laws and commandments of this Bible, the ordinance of God. We must teach diligently to our children. Every single day we gotta teach our children how to serve God because we in the midst of a wicked, perverse nation that teaches us idolatry every single day. So we diligently gotta teach our children. Read. And shall talk of them when thou sittest in thy house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand. So we got to teach our children laws and commandments diligently every single day, so they can come out of the customs and ways of this world. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.